Louise. Louise is a great compare. She likes a wee joke. But um, I told her wee is no laughing matter for a man in his mid-fifties. <laughs> she did get my name wrong. She wrote my name down wrong a few times. My name is Tim Hodges. And she wrote my name down as Tim Hod. And my partner saw this and said, Who's this Tim Hod? Where's the jizz? <laughs> so, as introduced, I was born, brought up and raised in Brian Hope and I'm still there. Thank you. Now, I'm not saying Brian Hope has come more pretentious than I was a lad, but there are people in Whitehall who now have second homes in Lewis. I mean, they, are on, they are on parole, but um, they are waiting parole. There's a lot more cockneys in Brian Hope nowadays. A lot more commas, money from uh, Burgess Hill and Haywards Heath though. <laughs> and some from Emsworth. <laughs> and also a lot more vegans. Or so they tell me. <laughs> so they tell me. So they tell me. But they don't milk it. Your vegans, they don't milk it. <laughs> so I live in Central Hope now. Oh yeah. yeah. Near the big Tesco's. <laughs> the big Tesco's quite a lot. Pushing Miss Trolley around, mooshing about. And I do occasionally interact with certain middle-aged women. And they do, believe it or not. Now you're thinking, you're not even paying attention, come on. <laughs> they go to that and interact with certain middle-aged women. And they think, can he do a job? Can he give me what I want? And they think, I suppose in an emergency, he's got quite fat fingers. <laughs> now, I used to be a central brighter with my now estranged wife. You'll be all right, Jan. It won't be over soon. I mean, that's not my strange wife, that's my mate's wife. And my strange wife is her friend. So with my strange wife, but talking of strange wives, as we were, a little while ago, my friend was thrown on Lewis Road, that's over there, and he saw the old blues and twos in his rearview mirror. So he floored it, he absolutely floored it, and they chased him for about 25, 30 miles. When the couple caught up with him, he said, Hello, 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 because that's what they say, innit? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Why didn't you stop, sir? And my friend said, I want to tell you a story of this. I want to tell you a story. Who remembers that? Yeah. No one? Yeah. All too young? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Anyway, my, my friend said, Let me tell you a story of this, sir. A couple of months ago, my wife ran off with a policeman. And I thought it was you, and you were trying to bring her back. <laughs> I play a bit of golf, I'm a bit of a golfer, a bit of a golfer, a bit of a golfer. No, I'm a golfer, I'm not getting you a fucking drink. So I was playing at Hollandbury, it's over there, a little while ago, and we're approaching the penultimate green, piss taker. That's the second last green for anyone who didn't go to private school. We're approaching the second last green, and a hearse goes by. So I stood there, bowed my head, took off my cap. And when the hearse had passed, my playing partner said to me, that was very respectful, Tim. I said, yes, it was. I've been married to that woman for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really, not really. Some of this isn't true. A lot, of it, a lot of it isn't funny, but some of it's not true. Now, despite this, my parents had a bit of money. Might do their best for me, but they couldn't spell. So they sent me to primate school. <laughs> What's that all about? I've got a girlfriend now. I'm like, I've got a girlfriend now, and me and my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend have sex four or time, four or five times a day. But it's dropping off. <laughs> neighbours! Oh, that way you up, didn't it? I've got some really weird neighbours. Guy next door is called Rupert Farquharson. And Rupert cracks on his pilot and he said, Hello, oh, dear, I'll try you down in my plane to Naples or Turin and we'll be there in time for tiffin. But around the corner, there's a sort of displaced scouser called Derek Fazakali. And he reckons he's a pilot as well. He said, Oh, that's him, take it down, take it with my plane, go for the fluffy stuff, put my boot down, and I'll get you down to Alicante for tiffin and tea. Tea is, um, tea is tiffin for anyone who didn't go to comprehensive school. And I've come across Derek before. I've come, I've met Derek before. I actually stood for local council election. I also, I used to stand for the council elections in Brighton and Hove a few years ago. For the Tory party. And I met Derek then. And knocked on his door. 
and he said to me, you're just a homophobic, fat, racist, Tory prick. And I said, oh, come off it, Derek. I'm not fat. 